Hi, I'm Aisha. I started at the BBC in 2018 as a research assistant and I worked across three different teams within the BBC audiences department. First, I started within Brand Insight where I looked at how the BBC's brands were performing. Then I moved into the radio music team where I worked with BBC Pop. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I would particularly be looking at how things had been performing. So how many people are listening to Greg James in the morning? Has that changed um, over a particular period of time? Is there anything in particular they like about his shows or the content? Then I moved on to the TV audiences team. We had um, some big launches for um, two big programmes. So we had Dracula and um, His Dark Materials. So we'd look at how those performed so that we could then feed this back to commissioning and to the productions team. But then I also have the opportunity to work on bigger and larger projects. So when I was in the radio music team, I actually worked on a project looking at South Asian audiences and looking at how they perceive their identity, what is their connection towards their Britishness, um, but looking um, also at their connection towards their South Asianness and what does that mean? Um, and then I also had the opportunity to look at um, work on a project with One Extra, looking at black culture and looking at how the scene has developed significantly over the past 20 years. Um, so that was very, very exciting. So it's not just about working on kind of the day to day stuff in terms of um, how things are performing, but also being able to, you know, work on bigger projects that are closer to your heart or closer to my heart. I really, really enjoyed um, working at the BBC and um, it's an opportunity to explore um, the different areas that you want to work within, even if you're not sure what exactly you want to do. Um, being a research assistant opens so many doors to get involved in so many different things. I even had the opportunity to um, work as an um, assistant producer and researcher on um, the RuPaul's Drag Race podcast. So there's plenty of opportunities to get stuck into, even if you're not sure what you want to do. Hi. I'm Oliver and I started at the BBC as an audience research assistant in news and current affairs. It was a fantastic job because I was given a lot of responsibility from my very first day. I worked on flagship programmes such as Panorama, Question Time and The Andrew Marr Show. I also worked on big news stories including elections and the Brexit votes. My role was varied working across TV, radio and online. It's a great opportunity because you do lots of different things. You work on day-to-day -day reporting, helping journalists and editors improve their programmes, as well as longer term research projects that grapple with the bigger challenges the BBC is facing. I now work in the same wider team, but instead I focus on the BBC's nation's output. This includes local radio and the 6.30 regional news bulletin, which is the most watched daily TV programme in the whole of the UK. The BBC, and specifically audiences, is a great place to work for many reasons. In my opinion though, the main one is that our content reaches millions of people in the UK and across the world every single day. So the work you do here really matters to people's lives. Hi, my name's Vicky. I joined the RA scheme about two and a half years ago, focusing on the data side of things because I had a real interest in coding. My first placement was in the central analytics team. One of the things I did here was looking at the performance of all the BBC apps week on week and building a dashboard to show stakeholders how different apps were doing. I then moved into audience measurement where I did more data science work, looking at machine learning and modelling. I did a piece of work looking at audience behaviour across radio, TV and online and how all of those interacted to form the audience's opinion of the BBC. I then took a permanent role as a data analyst in the iPlayer and Sounds product teams. This is fantastic, it's like working in Netflix and Spotify and live TV and radio all at once. It's a really interesting place to work. Most of what I do is looking at different product features and how the audience interacts with them and how we can make them better to improve the product. I've now taken a permanent role back in the audiences department as a data scientist where I'm going to be doing more machine learning and modelling. The BBC is a fantastic place to work, it's incredibly supportive and colleagues come from a wide range of backgrounds and have very different opinions and skill sets. There's a real collaborative approach, we have regular showcases where people show different pieces of work they do and 
Mentoring is an everyday occurrence with people always happy to share work they've done or help you develop new skills. Senior members of staff are really supportive. I feel like my manager really understands me and my skill set and gives me pieces of work that fit what I want to do and challenge me to become better. I've also benefited from the BBC's formal links with apprenticeship programmes and I've completed an apprenticeship in data science and data analytics. The best thing about working in the BBC is there's such a variety of things to do. You can work in news one month and then iPlayer another and then sounds another. You can really find the thing that you are truly interested in and try things that you might never have thought about before, which makes it really interesting and exciting and somewhere you'll never get bored working.